we have already seen bubble sort algorithm now let us see selection sort algorithm sorting algorithm arrange elements of a collection into an order like ascending or descending order the selection sort algorithm divides the input into two parts sorted sublist and unsorted sublist the sorted sublist is built from left to right which will be at the left of the entire list initially sorted sublist is empty remaining unsorted items occupy the rest of the list initially unsorted sublist is the entire input list selection sort will perform these three steps first algorithm will find the smallest element in the unsorted sublist swap the smallest element with the leftmost unsorted element and third one move the unsorted sublist boundary to one element to the right like bubble sort selection sort is also in place sorting means it doesn't require extra memory except some pointers the selection sort has performance advantages over other sorting algorithms when auxiliary memory is limited and also selection sort require minimum number of swaps and minus one in worst case here is the simple example to understand how selection sort works suppose you have array of elements they are in random order like this and you wish to arrange them in ascending order initially this entire list considered as unsorted sublist or unsorted subarray this unsorted subarray shown with aqua color and sorted subarray shown in yellow color initially sorted subarray is empty first we need to find the smallest element in unsorted subarray let's see how minimum element can be found within this unsorted subarray assume this first element in unsorted subarray is the smallest element minimum now start with index 1 if the element at index 1 smaller than the minimum update the minimum index and make element at index 1 as minimum so here this 5 is smaller than 6 so now minimum is updated here now 5 is the minimum compare the element at index 2 with current minimum here 3 is at index 2 which is smaller than the current minimum so make this 3 as minimum compare the element at index 3 with current minimum here 1 is at index 3 which is smaller than the current minimum so make this one as the current minimum compare the element at index 4 with current minimum here 8 is at index 4 which is not smaller than the current minimum 1 still 1 is the minimum again compare the element at index 5 which is 2 with current minimum 2 is not smaller than 1 so still smallest element is this one now we found the smallest element from the unsorted subarray we completed this first step we need to swap the smallest element with leftmost element in unsorted subarray here it is 6 so we need to swap this smallest element and this first element in unsorted subarray after swapping this this one is at correct position now this is the sorted sublist or sorted subarray shown in yellow color we need to move the unsorted subarray boundary one element to the right so this is the unsorted subarray now three steps completed here this is the unsorted subarray so again assume this first element as minimum now this is at index 1 now start at the element in index position 2 find the next smallest element if you repeat the same previous process we will find the smallest element at index 5 which is 2 so swap this first element in unsorted subarray with this smallest element so after completion of this second pass this is the sorted sublist and this one is unsorted sublist again assume first element in unsorted sublist which is at index 2 as minimum again start at the element in index position 3 find the next smallest element here in this case all these elements are bigger than this 3 so this 3 is the smallest here here minimum element is 3 and leftmost element in unsorted sublist also 3 3 will be at the same position after completion of this third pass this is the sorted sublist and this one is the unsorted sublist again first element in unsorted sublist assumed as minimum 
means the element at index 3 is the minimum now start at the element in index position 4 find the next smallest in this case it is 5 so swap this minimum element 5 with first element in unsorted sublist after completion of fourth pass this is the sorted sublist and this is the unsorted sublist again first element in unsorted sublist assumed as minimum now start at the element in index position 5 find the next smallest element in this case it is 6 swap this first element in unsorted sub array swap it with the minimum element after completion of this fifth pass all elements are in sorted order why this name for selection sort selection sort gets its name because it repeatedly selects the next smallest element and move it to its correct position here we are selecting the minimum element and we are moving that minimum element to its correct position so that is the reason this name let's write algorithm for above procedure for this example we did perform i passes if we take loop variable i for passes it will start from 0 and goes up to array size minus 2 in fifth pass i will be 4 so from 0 to 4 so this upper bound is inclusive here in each pass what we did we selected first element from unsorted sublist or sub array and assumed it as minimum in i pass first element in unsorted sub array will be at the ith index in the whole array so this array of i is the minimum in each pass we need to find the minimum element so take another loop this one here loop variable is j which starts from second element in unsorted sub array in unsorted sub array first element will be at the ith index so j should start from i plus 1 and it needs to go up to last index in array so array size minus 1 if the element at index j is smaller than the current minimum make the element at the index j as the current minimum after scanning entire unsorted sub array you will find the smallest element in unsorted sub array first element of unsorted sub array will be at the ith index in ith pass so swap this element at ith index with this minimum value or we can write like this element at this minimum index here we are also updating minimum index suppose if this array size is n in each pass only one swap will be performed so total number of swaps in selection sort in most cases n minus 1 let me erase this first in the first pass means i value is 0 this inner loop will start from i plus 1 here i is 0 so it will start from 1 and goes up to here array size is n so up to n minus 1 so in first pass we will have n minus 1 comparisons in second pass i value will be 1 so 1 plus 1 it will start from 2 and goes up to n minus 1 so in second pass we will have n minus 2 comparisons and so on in the last pass we will have only one comparison so this is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 so selection sort time complexity is big o of n square if the elements are in sorted order still this inner loop will perform n minus 1 comparisons so total comparisons will be still n square but there will be no swaps so best case time complexity is big o of n square because we have n square comparisons and number of swaps are zero so we have time complexity constant order of one in most and average cases it is order of n square we have already seen selection sort outperforms bubble sort while comparing selection sort and bubble sort we need to consider number of comparisons and number of swaps in the both algorithms number of comparisons are n into n minus 1 by 2 in terms of comparisons both are equal n into n minus 1 by 2 but if we consider number of swaps selection sort is more efficient than bubble sort see here this swapping operation is performed within the inner loop in bubble sort if the array size is 100 this outer for loop will execute 100 times and also this inner for loop will execute 100 times so approximately 100 into 100 
10,000 swappings will be performed in bubble sort. Whereas in this selection sort, the swap operation is outside of the inner loop. Inner loop ends here. So in each pass, only one swap will be performed. So if array size is 100, only 100 swaps will be performed in selection sort. This is complete program for selection sort. Here I am taking this array. Array size is n. Here I am calling this selection sort function with two arguments. Array ARR and array size n. These are the initial array elements. In the first pass, i value will be 0, which is less than n minus 1. Initially, this entire array is unsorted subarray. This first element in unsorted subarray is the smallest element. Here it is 6. Here the min index is the unsorted subarray lower bound. For first pass, here it is index 0. Here I used j as a loop variable. Now j starts from i plus 1. Here i is 0. In the first pass, this i is 0. So j will be 1. Assume this thick red border as j. Now this j less than n. Here the elemented index 1 which is 5 smaller than current minimum 6. Update the element at index 1 as minimum. Now the minimum is this 5. Minimum element is shown with green color. j will be incremented. Now j is at index 2. Element at index 2 is 3. Compare this element at index 2 with current minimum. Element at index 2 is 3 which is smaller than the current minimum 5. So update the minimum. Now minimum is 3. Increment j value. Now it is at index 3. Compare the element at index 3 with current minimum. Here current minimum is 3. This one is at index 3 which is smaller than the current minimum 3. So make this one as the current minimum. Now one is the minimum. Again j will be incremented. Now j is at index 4. Compare element at index 4 which is 8. Compare it with the current minimum 1. 8 is not smaller than the current minimum 1. So 1 is the smallest element. Again increment the j. Now j is at index 5. Again compare element at index 5 which is 2 with current minimum 1. 2 is not smaller than 1. So still minimum is 1. j will be incremented to 6. 6 less than 6. This condition will be failed. So inner loop will be terminated. This inner loop will be terminated. So we need to perform this swapping. This is the first pass. So i equal to 0. Array of 0 will be stored within temp. Array of minimum index. Minimum index is here. 1 is the minimum. Its index is 3. So minimum element which is stored in array of i means move to this starting position. Again the value of array of i which is stored in temp will be moved to this array of minimum index. So this swapping will be performed. First pass completed. So minimum element comes to its correct position. Now this is the sorted subarray. All these aqua colored elements are unsorted subarray. Again i will be incremented. So it will be 1. Again i less than n minus 1. Second pass will start. Again first element in unsorted subarray means element at index 1 will be considered as the minimum shown in green. Again j will start from i plus 1. Here i is 1. 1 plus 1 2. So j will start from index 2 and it will find the minimum element within this unsorted subarray 2. So this 2 will be updated as current minimum that will be swapped with the first element in unsorted subair. After completion of second pass, two elements are sorted. I will be incremented. So now I will be 2. Again, first element in unsorted subair consider as minimum. It is 3. Now J will start from index 3. Again, minimum element will be found within this unsorted subair. Here it is 3 only. So 3 will be swapped with itself. So it will be at the same position. Now these three elements are sorted and 6, 8, 5 in unsorted subarray. Now fourth pass will start. First element consider as a minimum. J starts from index 4 and again find the minimum. Now it is 5. 5 will be swapped with 6. 
again fifth pass will start now i is for first element eight is current minimum but minimum is six so it will be updated and that will be swapped with the first element so after completion of this fifth pass all elements are sorted